Probably not today. That's cool. That's easy. Both of you want to follow me this way? We'll get started on videos and paperwork. Okay. watch this first little video it's just kind of going to go over um, an option for a video package if you want to get one yeah we are going to get it okay so we'll be back in about two minutes when this is done and then we'll start filling out our paperwork now the video discount for students i'm a student right now do i get that as long as you have a student id i do okay. hold on to it for now okay. i'll be right back Skydiving School, located at Southern California's premier skydiving resort, where dreams come alive. Our facilities are second to none and are available to you and your guests. Please enjoy our viewing areas, pool facilities, bomb shelter bar and grill, and indoor skydiving facility, where people of all ages can enjoy the sensation of skydiving. Your family and friends can watch you as you float on a column of air inside the tunnel chamber. You are about to experience an adrenaline pumping thrill of a lifetime. Whether you're choosing a tandem skydive or accelerated freefall skydive, we can capture your experience forever. You will be able to relive it over and over again. If you choose a tandem skydive, we invite you to choose between our basic video and our pro video package. Our basic video captures up close footage of you in free fall as well as under canopy. Your tandem instructor wears a video camera inside a specially designed glove to obtain this unique footage. This means that your face will go out of the shot during important safety checks. Your footage is recorded onto a DVD, enabling you to share your experience with everyone. Our pro video package includes your video on DVD of both close-ups and outside video angles in free fall and under canopy, as well as pre and post skydive interviews. This package includes a CD of high quality digital still photos, a presentation case, and a personalized photo certificate of your skydive. To obtain this remarkable footage and stunning digital stills, a professional skydiving camera flyer will accompany you for your entire skydive, actually free falling alongside you. Your pro video is now available in high definition. If you choose this option, you'll also get a Blu-ray disc in your pro video package, where all footage, except for the leader and the basic video portions, are recorded in high definition. Whichever video package you choose today, your DVD will be available for you to view, share, and take home just minutes after you land. In addition, your basic or pro video will be uploaded to YouTube within a few days of your jump, enabling you to share your experience with everyone. We hope that you have an amazing first jump experience with us today. That was fun. I want to do it again. And thank you for choosing Curtis Valley Skydiving. You get to step up on that scale for me. All right. Uh oh. 
Pockets for me. Front and back. Okay. So there are two packets here. Wherever it says witness, leave that blank and I'll sign it for you. Okay. And then this page asking about medical information is optional. You don't have to fill it out. Okay. Okay. And the second packet, it's already open to where you start. So then you just finish it off. When you see that page, you know you're done. Okay? So have fun with all of that. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. And then this video just talks to you about all the paperwork that you're signing. If you have any questions, just call her Wally and I'll come run it. I represent Paris Valley Airport, the skydiving school. And agreed in advance to release yes, the of care. Hold on to that page for a minute. I am going to record you, and you basically get to read to me the statement in bold on that page. And I also need you to tell me your name and today's date somewhere. Ready? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Statement in bold? Yes. Okay, I certify that I have carefully read this entire agreement. I fully understand it is a binding contract and accept that. By signing this document, I give up important legal rights. It is my intention to do so, and I do so voluntarily. I fully accept its contents and sign it of my own free will. Dated 6 December 2012, signed by Robert J. Morton. Perfect. Yay! Okay, now I can take all your money. Come on up to the front. just you, which is always nice. Um, you know, please stop me if you don't understand something. We'll make everything very clear. Um, I will tell you though, there's there's a million things, different scenarios of uh, stuff that, you know, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? So I'll go through all that. We'll get to all of the what if that stuff happens. Um, so don't worry about it. Um, for the most part, it was a very safe sport, and uh, if you do what I teach you to do, you'll be fine. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we'll go through a couple things, and then uh, we'll go look at the gear. So, my name's Chris. I've been jumping 21 years. I've been teaching for two years. Um, I compete in four-way and eight-way at the national level. And this is what I do for a living now. This is it. Um, other interests, I like to go run. I hang out with my dogs, do yoga, do a lot of reading. So, yeah. Do you know who Elizabeth Gilbert is? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think I've heard the name. Why? I've been watching a lot of her philosophical stuff lately. Oh, okay. Is she? She's spoken at my colleges and stuff. The name is familiar. I don't know why. Um, so you're Robert. Have you have you done any skydiving before, Tandem? I did the tunnel once. You did the tunnel. Okay. When and where? Here, maybe what, six months ago. Uh, August of 2011, last year. Okay. Last year. And how much time did you fly? Two minutes. Okay. And how'd you like that? It was good. It was we're gonna we're gonna go do two minutes today as well. Okay. Good. So we do a little more tunnel. Uh, what do you do for I'm a student. work? Student of what are you studying? Uh, mechanical engineering. I like that. Engineers tend to don't overthink, but at the same time, this is like pure mechanical stuff. The way this thing works, I, my degree is mechanical engineering too. So really? Yeah. Cool. So that's pretty cool. You'll dig it. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. Six to eight hours. With just one person, we can do it in five if you're catching on to stuff, which I think you will. We're going to go to the wind tunnel at 11. Um, we're not going to take many breaks. We're just going to power through this. Um, on the way back from the tunnel, we can catch like a quick bottle lunch to go, bring it back in here, and then we'll just keep getting our stuff done. Because um, the sooner we get this part done, then we can go actually skydive, which that's the fun part. Um, it's an eight-level course, so today's level one, right? If you choose to continue and uh, get your rating and all that kind of stuff, there's eight levels of jumps to get you through what we call the AFF portion. And then um, once you get your A license, you can go and jump with your friends and start doing you know, some of the other fun stuff. Um, requirements to pass this course, and for me to say, yeah, he can go skydive, um, well, you don't have much of a choice to participate because you're the only one here. That <laughs> um, you have to demonstrate to me. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Um, that you understand the critical course materials, which means you're going to, um, you need to pass the written test. I will tell you the questions that are on the test through the day. So unless you're completely not paying attention, you'll know what's on that test. I might even write them down on that board at some point. Right? Um, they're on the test because they're important. So if me telling you what's on the test makes you remember, it's all good, right? Um, and then you have to be able to show me, like, in the harness, you know, given certain circumstances that you're going to know how to respond properly, uh, especially when it comes to emergency procedures. Okay, so um, probably jump today if you do well and then the weather's got to clear up, but we should be okay. I think it's supposed to clear around 12 is what I saw. And you'll be current for 30 days after this training. So for some reason the weather didn't clear up and you didn't get to jump today, you can still come back within 30 days. You're what we call current. We would just do a simple review, um, which we do every day before you start jumping anyway. And off you go. Okay. okay. Blah, blah, blah. Um, equipment, you're gonna have a helmet. You, uh, you wear your helmet during the jump, of course. And then in the aircraft up until 1,500 feet, you have goggles. You're gonna have an altimeter. I'll grab one of those when we go look at gear. So you know how high you are, right? pretty important to know. Uh, you're going to have a rig that's got all these other things in it. You've got a main parachute, a reserve parachute. You're going to have radios or one-way radios that we use to talk to you um, during the canopy portion of the skydive. Once you've opened your parachute and you're doing your landing pattern and such, we talk you through that. Um, you know, but they're a backup device. We test them on the ground and we check them in the airplane, but you know, it may not work. So. You still need to pay attention to all that stuff when we talk about landing patterns. Okay. Gloves if needed. Once it warms up and this burns off, we'll be fine without gloves. We give you a jumpsuit. We do three gear checks. This question's on the test. Um, we're going to do two on the ground by two separate people, right? Because we're all human and we want to make sure that we're checking each other, right? So if one guy misses something, the other guy catches it, which no big deal. But then we do another one in the airplane before we exit the airplane, make sure everything is where we we had it and like you didn't get anything out of place by moving around on the plane. Uh, so three gear checks. Let me see that question on the test. Two on the ground, one in the airplane. Um, as you progress through the levels, um, you need to start taking some responsibility for what's going on. You know, jump number one, we're going to take care of a lot of that for you, but then we'll slowly start letting you do more on your own, you know, do a check on everything, turn on the AAD, um, and, you know, start checking gear for other skydivers once you are doing your solos and stuff like that. So, it just kind of happens. Um, let's go look at the equipment. We'll go look at the equipment, but also...
want to practice our exit, figure out how we're going to line everybody up in the door before we actually get upstairs and do it for real. So we're kind of plan things, right? So if you want to come over here and uh, just stand right here and uh, I'll show you skydive, what it looks like so you can see what I'm doing with the door. Okay, so when I ask you to take your position in the door, what I want is I want your left foot about the midpoint of the door, okay? If you're too far back, we run the risk of hitting the back edge of the door on our head. So midpoint of the door. Feet comfortable width apart, like maybe shoulder-ish, right? And then we're going to just kind of rest ourselves on our elbows on our knees here. I don't want to be too far back because I don't want to run the risk of falling backward. Almost like you just pick something up off the floor. Relax yourself. You're going to check in with me. Check in. Say okay. You look outside of the wingtip. And then you're going to give us a nice count. We can all follow. Out. In. We're going to step off the plane and arch. Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Circle of awareness. How's my body position? Okay. Wait for feedback till you get the thumbs up. How's my body position? So you get the thumbs up. Read and report your altitude. X thousand feet. What's next? Three practice. Seconds, read and report our altitude. 6,000 feet, lock on, 5 5, wave, reach, pulling by 5,000. Okay? So, really, we're getting out of the airplane, we're fixing our body position. How high am I? I'm doing my practice touches. How high am I? Every 5 seconds, how high am I? Lock on to 6, start your wave at 5 5. Hi! Come on in, and we'll go through it nice and slow. I'll talk you through a lot the first time, and then um, we'll kind of go through. I will have a hold of you, and um, whoever's reserve side, they're going to be outside the plane. I'll give you this, which means take your position in the door. So, yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, so we're not too good backwards. So take a breath. And check with me. Say so check in. So, look at that wing out there. And give us a nice exit count. Out, in, step and step out, out and arch, 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 immediately. <laughs> arch, right? The most important thing to do is make the airplane. Arch. Count to four. Okay, and then we do our circle of awareness. So you're going to check with me. How's my body position? I'm going to say you need to arch one. Take those hips. There you go. Cool, and then I'll give you a thumbs up. Check with the reserve side, dude. He says, okay. okay. So tell me how high we are. 10,000. Okay, good. What's next? Every five seconds. Oh. Yeah. So get that left arm over your head, right? There you go. Really over here, too. There you go. Lovely. What should you do now? How high are we, right? So, and then tell me how high we are. X thousand feet. Okay. Every five seconds, checking your altitude. So, there you go. Okay. So, check. So, let's say you look and it's at 6.5. You can go ahead and walk on early, right? So, you be really, really looking at it. Turn your head. Turn your wrist. There you go. Walked on. 6,000. Five, five. Wave. Reach. And pull. Good. So, let's do it again. So remember, the, the importance of, of what we're doing on the ground translates into what we're doing upstairs. So that's why we're thinking about making sure we do it right down here. Cool? Um, so one more time, and then we'll cruise over the top. So we'll be up here. I'll have I'll have your harness. Whoever is going to climb out, I'm going to say take your position at the door. Go. Take that breath. Oh. Arch, there you go. Immediately arch. Get those hips forward. Pinch those butt cheeks together. Good. Circle of awareness. So, 
looks good. Check with the other dude. Looks wait till you get the thumbs up. Looks good. Read and report your out. Yeah, so. Okay, good. What's next? Wait, no, just do it, right? That's what's next in the plan. I'll I'll tell you if, if you forget. So what's next? Do it.
Um,